Hi there, I'm Tara Jacoby and welcome to My Ugly House. I work with Remax Integrity of Southern Oregon and I have been a real estate agent in Oregon since 1999 and I thought during this pandemic time when we're all going a little stir crazy, I would do the one thing that I know I can do, which is talk to you about my own home. So I've looked at all of the Netflix, uh, things that are on Netflix and I've done all the things on Pinterest and I'm now thinking I gotta do something else. So I'm gonna start working on my house and doing some things that we've been meaning to do during this time that we can. What can I do on a small scale that's gonna make the most impact for my house? So I'm gonna show you guys and share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly of my own home. Now I say the whole ugly thing with a little tongue in cheek because guys, I know where this home started. In 2013, it was a bank owned property and boy, did it need some love. And now it's come about 70% of the way there. We've done a lot that's really good, but there's still a lot that is missing. So you guys come with me on the journey, whether you want to redo your house or thinking about putting it on the market and want to have fun or whether you just want to follow along for fun. Take the journey with us and come on on the ride. Okay, so here is the before picture. This is definitely the bad and the ugly. <laughs> so when we bought the house in 2013, it was a bank owned property. And yes, this is what it looked like. But of course we needed a house in Ashland for the school district and we needed a big house. And believe it or not, this is a big house. <laughs> so you can see a lot of what we started with was this very dark paneled siding, this lovely uh, red colored door against the brown, just ugly as sin. Anyway, um, and then we had a gravel driveway, it's so lovely. So there's a lot that's good about what we've done, but there's a lot that's lacking. So let's talk about that. So here is the after, and what a difference between the two, eh? So you've got this lovely one, and then to change to that. So yes, there's a lot to be grateful for and I am very grateful for my house, but uh, there is a lot of stuff that is very much lacking. The problem with this house, even though we've done so much like the uh, driveway and, and uh, the infrastructure of it, I wanna say, and the fencing and the color change. So let's talk about that. First of all, uh, some of the good things that we really did was just the paint job alone. Uh, the fact that we went from uh, this you know brown awful looking uh, house that was so drab to now we have a two-tone uh, color throughout we've added this trim around the windows which wasn't there before it had no definition uh, so that's the good okay and the, the structure stuff that we did was good we also very uh, inexpensively added just this, uh, these lights here and made that change and then the numbers, we changed them out. Let me show you what it used to look like again. So it had no lights or anything on either side and of course you couldn't have seen them even if we put them on there, but uh, it had no definition on the door at all. So going back to what we have now, again, we added these lights, we added the um, numbers and of course the biggest difference is when you paint your house and you add just a little bit of definition to its trim. So that's all, Yes, that's all the good. Now let's talk about the bad and the ugly, okay? So <laughs> still what we're lacking here is a curb appeal. And I always say I am the realtor with no curb appeal. And that is because this flat straight roof like this is just boring as all get out. Yes, I granted it is better than it was, but uh, it is just gives nothing to it. When you're up on the street over here and you're looking at this house, you've got no front appeal to the house at all. So what it would, what we'd love to do is actually give it a bit of a gable here and come out and that would be awesome. Okay, this is a good example. On Pinterest, I, <laughs> I love Pinterest. I actually found this one. So they had a flat line like this, very boring looking here. And then they added this gabled roof to it. They actually added a whole uh, front patio, which is great. But just that little piece even, if it was it alone, would have added so much pop to the house and pizzazz. So this is kind of uh, another thing that I wanna show you here is the example of what you can do with when you decide to go with like a three shade uh, painting job. So you've got your base color of your house, you've got your trim color, that's a separate color, and then your third color, which is that uh, design rule principle of three, and we'll cover that in a couple other things. Um, 
you've got that third color on the door. And we actually did do three colors here. You just can't see it. And that's the, another drawback, that's another ugly, about this house, that you can't even see the front door. So although, th although we would love to do something like this, it is so cost prohibitive. And um, I understand as well as anybody, uh, you know, budgets are budgets. And so let me show you a less expensive way that we are going to make this, uh, make, the, make our property worth a lot more than uh, what it is worth. Got to save some money. So here's what we're looking at doing. This Again, this is a closer up version so you can see what we're dealing with. Um, we want to come out to about here, no no more than that. And uh, another one of the ugly things is we have, we have no front yard. Actually, that's not true. We have a gorgeous front yard, but it's all up on the hill beside us over here. So uh, you don't really see it uh, when you're up close. But that's another one of our uglies that we need to address at some point. But for now, um, we need to deal with something in the front of this house that gives it a little bit of curb appeal and what we'd like to do is tie it in with this color so the natural wood color or a little stained wood color so let me show you what our ideas are you know if wishes were ponies and I say that because my sister is a horse trainer and she's always used that saying and I love it uh, if wishes were ponies I would have my husband and his brother in, and me I would help really I would uh, install something like this um, around our front door to give it a really nice solid look that ties in but of course again that is very cost prohibitive so if we uh, go to something like in between that and this you know something in between the two of them um, we can come up with something nice so we're looking at something like this uh, even something like this with some rock down the sides and having the boys actually boys and me should say uh, actually construct something like this and then having um, a roof on it now we don't know if we're gonna tie it in or not it really depends on if we can do it without it looking like it's a total separate piece like this I, I don't really like because it just looks like it's sitting there on top and it's of course gonna get oh, my in inspectors would have a cow because they'd say that uh, the water's gonna get on the wood and rot the wood and they're right they're totally right so we got to find some way to tie it into the roof so that's a, a discussion for a later time but um, it really would help give the front of our house some definition and so that's one of the the less expensive things that we're planning on doing now once it has this color wood in front of this structure here what I want to do then is bring that color so we have one two and then three we need to have it a third time over here okay so we have the fence we're gonna have the awning and then we're going to bring a little bit of that wood color here. So let's talk about what we're gonna do there. This takes something that looks like this, uh, some sort of this idea, and uh, put that trellis to tie it in with the front of the uh, same awning that's gonna be over here as well. So you're gonna have this, this faux piece, I should say, over the top that will tie in with the same structure, same dovetails. The more, uh, I want to say, rustic or uh, lodge-looking feel of these ends, then that's the same look that we're going to give to. So more like this, uh, same look that we're going to give to that piece over the garage door as well. So even though this is a nice, clean look to it, uh, a couple of things that I want to point out that are good about this. Um, you know, even though you, I've got no plant in there, if I was lift, listing this house for sale as is, um, I would say, okay, this is great, but my ideas, you know, the door is red, so that's nice. Um, if you can look at it and see it from here, but we need to pull that red out into where you can actually see it from the street. And so um, I actually had made, and you don't see them in this because it's this box right here. I made this box, the, the red color of the door like this. And so I have one across here and one across here and I would fill those with plants just to pull that third member design rule of three that third pop of color into the front of the house and uh, give it that 
that more stabilized look. And again, curb appeal rules uh, are pretty much the same across the board. You know, you're pulling in your third color, you're uh, making it pop, you're cleaning things up, which is really important. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, again, if wishes were ponies, I would have a whole new garage door, but uh, we got to do what we can do with the limited amount of funds that everybody in this world seems to have. And um, make it as beautiful and bright as you can and give lots of curb appeal. Okay, you guys, so next time we'll probably move inside the house and uh, see what's going on in there. So I would love to get your thoughts and comments in the, go ahead and leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think. And I would love to hear your ideas or your questions. And if you're interested in having me come out and do this for your house and give you some ideas on uh, what you can do to increase your value, please let me know. Take care, you guys.